Yeah. When you watch Susan Wells ride, it's hard to tell she's had two leg amputations. It's really helped me get back into life and not sit there and let that take over. In 2018, a bone infection in her foot led to the rider's lower right leg being amputated. Called in and saw her um, not long after her first surgery of having her first leg amputated. She was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And I said, well, I, I think I do know what you're doing. You need to get back on your horse. With determination and support, Susan was back in the saddle at her coach's Donnybrook property two months after surgery. My husband and another mate helped me get on and they're like, yeah, but we're walking with you. We're walking around the arena with you. And I'm like, oh, if you can keep up. <laughs> Susan's resilience was tested again earlier this year. Her left foot was amputated after another infection turned into life-threatening septicemia. But less than a month later, she was back on her horse, Odie. Riding a horse, you don't feel disabled. You feel like you're just like everyone else. Her coach says building mental strength is crucial. You might be missing a limb, but there's so much more to your body that you can use. The training and dedication is paying off. At the recent National Dressage Championships in Victoria, Susan was named Reserve Champion. I just live for riding and riding my horse. I don't want to do anything else. The champion rider and Odie are now setting their sights on travelling interstate for more competitions. Amelia Searson, ABC News, Donnybrook.